Welcome back. It's time for another one of my favorite videos. This is called How'd They Do That? And I'm going to take you through a really nice sales page and I'm going to show you exactly how you can create this on your own using the Focus WordPress theme. Let's just dive in here. So here's what we're working with today. This is a cool page. It's obviously in Portuguese, but this is a sales page for Brazilians who want to travel to Amsterdam and who want to go on tours with someone who speaks Portuguese. The man who owns this website, he knows a Brazilian guy who lives in Amsterdam who does these tours. And the main source of income on his site is this page where he gets people to sign up for these tours. I'll we'll go through the page real quick. I'll tell you about how successful the page has been and then I'll show you how to build this on your own. We'll go through the whole thing, okay? First up, Let's just look at this page. We've got it. We've got a headline here at the top. Nothing special. A little drop cap. We've got a call out here with some information. We've got nice use of contextual bolding to keep keep the eyes dotting around the page as we go down the page. That's really nice. We've got a little highlight here. Got another subheadline. A nice image with uh, some intriguing rounded treatment on the outsides. I'll show you how to do that. We've got a little emoji here beckoning you down the page. I like this. It's a clever little detail. Got another subheadline, subheadline, another highlight. We've got another call out here with some information. Another call out. These are different types of call outs because they're different colors. And then we have the money part of the page. We have a call to action box inside an edge to edge element that has a different background color. Really catches your attention like you're scrolling to this point and er, you're stopping here, you're reading this, you're looking at what this is. And when the user clicks to reserve, they are taken to the bottom of the page. It just moves you down a little bit to a form where you can fill this out and contact the site owner to get in touch with this Brazilian tour guide in Amsterdam. Okay, so there's not much to it. All this page exists to do is to get you to sign up right here. But ideally, we're gonna have high quality signups, okay? We don't want just spammers hitting this. We don't want randoms. We want high quality signups on this page. Well, uh, the sales data from this page is quite good. The site owner shared it with me and here it is. So since November, I, this is a two month span from November to about the second week of January. This page had 822 views. Of those views, there were 41 legitimate contacts made through that contact form. That's like 4.98% or something like that. That is a really high conversion rate to have on something where a user has to fill out a form, especially a form that is fairly involved. There's you know a few things to answer here. It's not just like a name and email. There's a lot more going on. Usually when we have forms like that, we see conversion rates of 2% or less, and 2% is pretty good. But this is almost 5%, that is crushing. So that tells you that this page is doing a really good job of driving users right down to the money part of the page, but it's, it's connecting in a way too that's relevant to them. Like this, this is an enticing offer and it's presented in a way that gets the job done. We're gonna focus on presenting this in a way that gets the job done and I'm gonna show you exactly how we do it. All right, so to start, I'm even going to have a couple bonuses here for you to show you some more things that, that you can do with Focus that's really easy to build a website you want instead of having to rely on some complicated page builder plugin or something like this. You don't need any of that nonsense. You can do it all very easily and all from the comfort of your WordPress admin and I'm going to show you how right now. All right, we're going to start with, I, I recreated this page, all the text at least, I recreated all the text from this page over here on this site. So we got the text, we got the image, we got everything. We just don't have any, all we have is the contextual bolding. We don't have any of the designy stuff. It's not dressed up. The text isn't centered on the page yet. Uh, we don't have anything. The nav menu is blank. We've, we don't have a logo here at the top. We got nothing, okay? So we're starting with just the text and we're gonna layer on all the fancy stuff starting now, okay? First thing we're gonna do, if we look at this sales page, this guy's got uh, a logo at the top. So we can add a logo also, let's do that. Within the Focus software, you've got the ability to go add a logo. And we're gonna do that, we're gonna add this image, we're gonna set it, it's just that easy. We've got a logo, we'll refresh the page. Boom, we have a logo. And now you'll notice that this sales page has, it's, it's centered, okay? It's centered in the viewport. Uh, we're gonna do that as well. So we'll go to 
Uh, let's see, we go to our content and display options. We look at our content presentation settings. We're gonna switch to what's called focus mode that will center everything. This is super easy as well. We were in readability mode that aligns content to the left. You switch to focus mode that puts everything in the middle. Maybe you have a site where everything looks better in the middle, focus mode. Got a site where everything looks better pushed over to one side, readability mode. It's up to you. So now we've already achieved pretty much the look of the top here. We just need to change the nav menu. Let me use my cheat sheet here for my nav menu color. I'll show you how to do this. We'll change the background color and the link color of the nav menu to what we see here. We can do that in the focus design options. It's all very easy. We are going to go down here to layout sections. We're going to go to the nav and we're going to change the background color to a custom color. And we're going to make that B38162. All right. And then we're going to make the text color. Let's see if we can change the text color in the nav menu. Yep, we have to go to a different thing. So uh, this part addresses sections, layout sections. Layout sections are these whole things, strips that go across the whole page. So the, this is the nav menu section. But these links and stuff are the nav menu itself. It's a little bit different. So that's why it's in a different section. So we're going to go to the nav menu. We are going to change the link text color to white. Contrast is, is a preset up here in our base colors as a white. So our, our te contrast text color is white. I've just deployed that down here. Now we're going to hit save. We're going to look at the results. And boom, we've got a nav menu just like the one over here. Okay, so far so good. Now we can focus on the text. Two things I want you to notice here. First, this column of text is wider than the one we have over here. And second, we've got two, actually there's two different fonts in play here. They look very similar, they're related. But we have one for headlines, it's called Verdana. This was a font that was developed in the 1990s, very popular back then. And we have another one that was also developed in the 90s called uh, Tahoma. Tahoma and Verdana are cousins. Tahoma is a little more condensed. You'll get more characters per line. And Verdana is bigger, bolder, a little easier to read. You'll get fewer characters per line with Verdana. So with that in mind, we are going to deploy Tahoma as our base font. And we're going to add a second font, Verdana. And then we're going to tell the focus how to use these fonts. So we're going to go down to Content Elements. And we're going to have headlines display in font 2, that's Verdana. And heading all of our uh, headlines and subheadlines, we want to display with our secondary font, which again is Verdana. There we go. We'll save it. When we refresh the page, now look at this. Our fonts are exactly the same as the ones we see over here. The only thing we have left to address as far as the layout is now the width of the text. Now this column of text over here is 800 pixels wide. In a default focus installation, it's only 644 pixels wide, so we need to make it a little bit wider to match to what we see on our example site. So we're gonna make it 800 instead of 644. We're gonna save it, it's just that easy. Boom, so there it is. We've done all the design work to match this and it did not take very much effort at all. Now we can move on to the individual formatting elements within the text, and that is stuff like the drop cap, the callouts, this little image treatment, that kind of thing. When we look at this, first thing we need to do, we're gonna add a drop cap here, and then we're going to turn this into an alert callout, which gives us that yellow background. We will go to our page, we're gonna to go to the visual editor, and watch this. I'm just gonna highlight this first letter. I'm gonna use this handy focus content style selector. This is like your superhuman content formatting ability right here in one handy location. You just click on this. You can do anything you want. We're gonna turn this one into a drop cap. Now we're gonna select this paragraph and turn it into dun, 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 a call out, but an alert call out. There we go. And let's see. This one is also, it has a drop shadow. So I'll, I'll save what we have. We'll update this so you can see. But this, this alert box doesn't have a drop shadow. So how does that work? It's also very easy, as you might expect. So we just highlight the same thing, and we're going to pop it. Boom. Now it's popped. We'll hit update. Yeah, that's what the pop style does. It makes the element pop up off the page. Looks really cool. Grabs your attention. You are not going to miss this. Okay, let's see what's next. We've got this last sentence here before the subheadline is highlighted. 
it draws your attention, you will see this. Let's find it. Here it is. We'll highlight this. Go back to Focus Content Styles. We're going to highlight it. There we go. We did it. Let's see what we have here. This is a subheadline. This looks like a subheadline level three. We'll see if that's true. This is, oh, it's impact text. All right, we'll do that. We can do impact text. We can do that too. So we're going to select this. We're going to use focus content styles again. We'll be using focus content styles for everything. This is where all your power is. We're going to select impact text. Boom. There it is. As we continue moving down the page, we'll view our results. Now we're on to this image. This image is pretty cool, but on uh, the sales page, it's got these nice rounded edges. I kind of like that. How can we do that? Okay, this is going, uh, this is a little bonus item for the video. I wouldn't normally cover this because it goes outside the boundaries of what you can do with the focus content styles. But whenever you want to do something like this that you can't just do with the tools I give you, you can always resort to something called custom CSS to achieve that outcome. In this case, we are going to use custom CSS to add this interesting rounded border treatment to our image. First, let's look at how we can target this image. This says example image. Well, I made it pretty easy, didn't I? So now we'll go back in to focus. We have a custom CSS editor here that's very handy. I'm going to skip down to a new item. We're going to say example image. And then we're going to, here's a little trick. Whenever you want to give something uh, this type of rounded edge, you just give it an absurdly large border radius value like I'm doing here. It's going to be 9,999 pixels. We're going to save it. And now when we refresh our page, now our image is rounded just like the sales page. That is pretty cool. As we move on down the page, we see this little emoji beckoning us to continue down the page. But our emoji is looking pretty tiny and pretty sad. It's over here off to the side and it's tiny. We are going to turn that emoji into impact text, just like we did up here. We're going to highlight it and we're going to impact it. And there it is. So now we've got that. Let's see what's next. Let's keep rolling. On our main page, we've got a big sub headline here. I believe this is a sub headline uh, heading two. It is an heading two. So we're going to, and so is the next one. For the record, so this is an H2, this one's also an H2. We'll go ahead and apply both of those. Looks like they already are H2s. Let's see, let's highlight. It is a heading two already. The other one's a heading two already as well. There's nothing to do, it's already done. But we do have this bold text has a highlight. Once again, we just select the text, we go to focus content styles, we give it a highlight. This is the easiest thing in the world. You, you, you see where we're going with this. All right, so let's continue. Here's a new element. This is a basic call out. We're going to make this little section into a basic call out. So we're going to select it all, go to focus content styles, do a call. It's a box call out. Oof, that did not work very well, did it? Let's undo that because that means the underlying code is not right for this. If you had done this on your own, this would work. But because I copied styles from the other site, it, it brought some junk over. But hey, I can show you how to remove this junk. Sometimes you need to know how to do things like this to get the results you want. Well, one way we can get it, if you can't get the results you want from using the WYSIWYG editor, you can go over to the text editor and apply your own treatments, which are really easy to do. So in this case, we want to make it a, uh, it's a box. So we're going to add a div. We're going to say class equals box. And we're just going to surround this whole thing. And we're going to hit update and we're going to look at it. So our emoji, our finger emoji is now bigger. We've got our sub headlines. We've got this bold text that is highlighted. And now we have our sub headline here with some bullet points. They're all encased in a box. But the box on the sales page is popped. So we want to pop ours too. We will go back over to the editor. We're going to go find our box that we just added. And we can add a class of pop. And we'll update it. And now we've popped it. Moving on, we've got one more alert callout. So we're going to simply do the same thing we've done. We'll go to the visual editor. We're going to roll down here and highlight what we want to be an alert box. There it is. We did it. Is this one popped? It is. So now we highlight it again. Select pop. And there we go. 
Now we're getting to the, the interesting stuff. So if you notice, the next part of the page is this full section break that we have. This is called a full width bleed. A full width bleed goes from edge to edge in the browser and it gives you the ability to change the background color of a certain section of the page to really draw the user's attention to either like a new idea or just something you really want them to see. A new, new, new section of the page, a new idea, a call to action, just something to signal, hey, look here, Keep pay attention, let's move on. Okay, so in this case, we have a note call out with a button inside a full width bleed that appears to be orange, okay? So let's go back and see how we can do this. It goes down this, whatever this sentence is, is the last one that's contained inside the bleed. So here's what we'll do. We will highlight everything that's gonna be in the, our bleed. We're gonna go to bleed this is a different thing it's next to the focus content styles. Bleeds are really, really powerful. We've got their own little button and tool here inside the editor. We're gonna click on this. We're gonna choose orange for our bleed color. We don't need any classes. We don't need an ID here. This is for in-page targeting. If you wanna have a link within your page and say like go to exactly this spot on the page, you could give it an ID to do that, like go here or something to that effect. And then you could add a link to your page. If somebody clicks on it, it would take them right to that spot of the page. So that's what this is for. The other optional classes are if you wanna apply your own styling or anything. We're not doing that right now, we're just doing the basics. We're just gonna choose orange and hit okay. So what this did is it injected a short code above and below the area that we are turning into a bleed. So let's go ahead and save this and take a look at what we've got, all right. We did create the bleed, this is really nice. But now we need to take these items and encase them inside a note callout like they are done over here. Looks a lot better, it's also popped, it stands out off the bleed, looks really good. So let's do that. And I'm guessing since the other one didn't work, this one probably won't work either with the focus content styles, but let's see. Huh, that one does work. We're gonna choose focus content styles. We're gonna pop it, because we saw it was popped. And let's see, anything else here? Oh, this is bold. On ours, it's not currently bold, so we're gonna bold it. We just select it, hit bold, there we go. And then this is also a button. We're gonna turn this link into a button. So what we do is we select our link, go to Focus Content Styles, and then we select Buttons, and we're gonna give this, it was a yellow button, we'll, we'll choose Update uh, for our button style, because it's yellow, it's showing you a little preview here. So here we go, we've got our yellow button. We are going to hit update and we will look at the results. So we're gonna hold shift, click refresh to look at these results. Oh, look at this. So here's, here's what we did achieve. We do have a button, but the button is, it's kind of small. I'd like for the button to be a little bigger. If you notice over here, the button is indeed bigger. There's more padding around the button. I'll show you how we can achieve that. And also the button and this sentence after the button are centered. Let's do that. So we'll center them first and then we'll increase the size of the button, okay? So I'll select both of these. Let's see if we can select center text for focus content styles and see if it resolves both. Look at that, it does, let's go. So quick note, whenever you are centering something inside the WordPress editor, I do not want you to use these alignment tools. These inject something known as inline CSS that is a, a web standards sin. Uh, you're probably only gonna wanna either left align something or center something. And really everything's left aligned by default, so you're probably only ever gonna want to center anything. So all you do is you select what you wanna center, go to focus content styles, and you choose center text. That is the proper way to center things in a web standards compliant way. Do not use these alignment tools. That is your pro tip for this part of the video. Okay, so we're back over here. Our stuff is now centered, but we need to make this button padding a little bit bigger. To do that, we're gonna revisit the focus design options. We're gonna go down here to site elements and buttons. And we've got horizontal padding and vertical padding on our buttons. Horizontal padding is already X4, vertical padding is X5. X5 is smaller than X4. This is part of the focus design system. You have values X1 through X6, different yields, uh, different sizes of padding. Well, X4 is bigger than X5. Uh, so X1 being the largest, X6 being the smallest. So we're gonna bump it up one to X4. Let's see what it looks like. There we go, that looks a lot more like this. And he actually has bumped up the 
Horizontal padding as well. We'll do that just for giggles over here in the design options. We'll go back to site elements. We'll go to buttons. We're going to increase the horizontal padding by one from X4 to X3. And let's see what it looks like. Oh, look at that. It's just like his button. The color's different. This is a custom, custom style he's added on his own site. We're not using that here. But there you go. Now we have our bleed and then uh, everything that follows. So hold on. We're done, believe it or not. Let's look. Let's compare these two pages. So here's this guy's page. Now he's actually running his site in readability mode, but he centers all his pages. So really his site should be running in focus mode. It's a topic for another day, but I've gone ahead and corrected that issue here on our example page. So everything is centered. The low, We've added our logo. Our tagline is centered. Our nav menu appears like this with the background color and the different link color. We've got our fonts matched up, Verdana for headlines, Tahoma for our primary text. And now we've added all the stylistic flair that we saw on the sales page in the form of drop caps, call outs, highlights, impact text, this crazy rounded border treatment on the image that looks cool, more impact text with the use, clever use of an emoji, another highlight, another call out, another call out. And then we've got the main show here, the full width bleed in orange with our note call out with a call to action button in it. This is how you do it. And if, if I had his form software installed, the form would display here, but that's pretty complicated. So there's no need to do that. You just need to know that this form would display in this location if I had that stuff on here. But there it is. This, this is entire sales page. This is a great sales page that is converting at a super high rate, super high rate for uh, more than double what you typically see. Like I said, 2% is a pretty good sign up rate for a page with a, a significant form at the bottom. And this guy doing 5% with this setup is just awesome. So this is definitely something you want to mimic. If you have similar sales pages where you, you want somebody to take a single action, this is the best way to do it. You have a single column of text, you run the user straight down the page and you do so in an entertaining and visually engaging way by using elements of the focus content styles, such as call outs, such as drop caps, sub headlines, any kind of treatment like this that's not normal will catch your eye, using emoji and impact text to lead people down the page. I mean, these are all great tips. I hope you're taking notes. Uh, using these boxes, uh, you know, raising objections and answering the objections. And this is a sales page done right, okay? So now you know that you can make these pages quickly. This video wasn't that long. I made this page so quickly with focus and these results are just tremendous. Look at this. You could pay somebody and they wouldn't give you this good of results and you were able to do this from the comfort of the WordPress admin and using a couple of options from the focus design options. So simple guys, I hope you take this to heart. I hope you check out focus and use these content formatting styles for your pages. Your, your sales pages will convert better. You can make more money this way. It's just it, it, beyond all that. I don't even care about all that. What I care about is that this is so easy and accessible. You can do it from the comfort of the WordPress admin. It doesn't involve anything that's like super frustrating or where you feel lost. It's nothing like that. It's all just very simple stuff. You use the focus, focus content styles. You've got, you know, like, 15 things you can choose to do with that, different types of elements. You just deploy those as needed. And once you do this for a while, you become a pro with these elements. You will know exactly what you need to do to set up your pages in a way that will crush every time. So easy, guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching this one. Take it easy.